Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop Who's Podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Igadero. And I'm your co-host, Chris Blackwood. What up, what up, what up, what up? Let's go. Listen, man, we want to thank everybody who's been supporting Hip Hop Hoops. Continue to keep supporting. Salute. Like, share, comment all our Insta- all our, our Instagram videos, our YouTube videos. Listen, for the guys who don't want to watch, you want to listen, go on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Check us out there. Simple We're settings, everywhere. Man. Simple settings. Shout out Title League. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. No, let's not forget. Well, check out our website, man. Yes, check, check out, out the website, website baby. Come Amazing on, articles. Get it. But um, listen, we got a lot to unpack today. Oh, man. We got a lot to unpack Like today. we fresh off vacation or something. Yes, a whole yes. lot to unpack. Listen, man, I love the NBA, man. There's so many different story Transparency. Lines. You got to yes, love it. man. But first, we want to start out with Joel Embiid. He got it. The MVP. Let's go. Salute. Salute. You know what I mean? I'm Joel only saluting Embiid. you because you're from the Atlantic Division. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's it? Do I sound like a hater? You sound like a hater My right bad, now. my bad, my bad. Nah, he deserved it. He may have deserved it last year, too. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my so fault. So, if my he fault. wins the chip, because remember, that's all they used to say, that he, when they were talking about the best centers in the league, yeah. they were talking about him and Joker, and they yeah. were saying, Joker got two MVPs. Joel, I mean, uh, MB didn't got nothing. So, right. now he has an MVP. They both haven't won anything. What do we, what do we say? Like, Joker has two. Steve Nash got two. I'm just saying. MB I'm does one. Steve Nash but got two. It's a one A, one B. The question is who's one A? Question is who's one Who, B. Did did Joel M B deserve the MVP this year? That's my question. Well, look at his stats. What he 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 averaged what what was his stats? Like he averaged like thirty? Uh, uh his his stats were pretty 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 They were pretty amazing. impressive, man. Uh 33, mm. 10, mm. and uh four assists. There you go. I mean, those are some, those four are some pretty assists. impeccable numbers. Like, and then you probably got to uh, put in there like two blocks as well, right? So anchor on defense. Like, yeah. he was the guy. I'll give you that, man. Like, no, he deserved it. I think the NBA got it. it right this year. With they would have the got it right either way. No. Joker or no, no, Embiid. No, no. MVP belonged to Joel for the last <laughs> two years, hands down. So shout out to uh, Joel. Um, he hasn't been playing. I know. I think he's going to miss another game, but hey, James Harden went off last night and did, did his thing. But shout out Joel Embiid. MVP. Breaking news, baby. Breaking news. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I want to get, I want to I want to talk about the Becky Hammond yes. situation where um, she was talking to a reporter and the reporter asked her about the Toronto position. And uh, this is what she said. She said, I'm not commenting on Toronto. This is all about the Aces. Right. And I won't take a moment away from these women to talk about them boys. What, what are your thoughts on that? What, did, could she have used different wording to do this? Or what, you're just I think I think she could have used different wording. But if you put it into context, I felt, you know what I mean? I didn't feel as strongly as you are, my brother. But I was like, okay, you know, the Aces just got... Her Aces team just got a building up, apparently. Yeah, they you just won I mean? to that. That facility is amazing. You feel me? So, you know, it's like she's not trying to take anything away. Meanwhile, you know, Raptors are looking for a new coach. Her name got called up. You know what I mean? Reporters doing her job by bringing it up. And she didn't want to take anything away from that. So that's why I didn't feel a way. But, like, you know. And then there was the whole women and boys argument. Like, you know, maybe she's just holding it down for women's basketball. And she's calling all the men boys. You know what I mean? You could take. That's, you could that's take it, crazy. You can look at it you, that way you as well. Do, you, she, does she, I don't think she wants to go and take it there. Huh? Taking it there is crazy. But I, I, I didn't really look at. I didn't. I didn't. Me personally, I didn't feel. I didn't feel a way. I didn't feel a way. I, I, I kind of felt what, what she was saying. But then when you read it back and you read some of the comments, like, oh man. So some of the comments yeah, was crazy yeah. to me. Um, because I want to see if I was reaching here. Like, should I like? You know, I'm not a part of the Raptors, obviously, but if I'm Scotty Barnes and I'm sitting at home and I'm watching this on TV and I hear them boys and I'm like, Scotty's like, hold up, I'm a grown, I'm a grown ass man. What are you talking about them boys? It was a comment. I was reading some of the comments because I want to see like if, if this was worth talking about today. And um, some of the comments were, uh, well, not some, a lot of the mm-hmm. comments were crazy. Right. Um, especially on Twitter. And, and, um. One comment said, um, I guess Becky Hammonds can call black men boys without any pushback. This woman needs to check her attitude. Mm. So um, me, personally, if I was doing an interview and somebody was talking about 
a job that I wanted maybe. Uh, it was a potential job for me. And this was something that, you know, I, I was going to pursue. I was going to take the interview. Because obviously, if she's going to take the interview, she's interested in the job. Or she would right. just turn down the whole interview, you know, mm-hmm. on, on by itself. So I would use better... I would use better wording, right? Because I feel like women in this game have to fight extra, extra hard to get the respect right. from men, right. period. Right. And I don't say that to say that m- women are not r- basketball brilliant, especially as far as their minds go. We have a lot of brilliant minds in basketball. In particular, Coach Hammond, Hammond's, solid basketball mind. Coach Hammond, you know, we got, we got the, the, the woman, I'm not going to say girl, <laughs> women, right. the woman out in um, Don Staley. Yeah. Like we have Pat Summit. Yeah. We have the, the, the wonderful lady at LSU. I forget it. Kalki. I, I can't pronounce her name. I think Kalki, her last name is. Okay. Who, at LSU who just won the champ. So we have a lot of great basketball minds. Right. And then we have other women who are, are, being, are becoming assistant coaches in the NBA as right. well. And I think she might have started that trend too, right? Possibly. So um, I think like she should have chose her words correctly because these young guys sitting at home, they might not take that. They might man, take offense they, to that. They ain't taking no offense to it, man. They might take offense to it. Well, well I, we didn't Call hear no me. players come out yet. Not yet, because you know she ain't mean, get the but, job yet. Nah, nah. If you if you were a Raptor and you were at home and she said, listen, I ain't, I ain't ready to talk about them boys. Well, right. how would you feel if you were on that Raptors team? I would, I would feel a way. I would feel there, a way, but at go. the same time, I'd be like, all right, let me show her. You know what I mean? If she's going to come to our practice, check out my workout, I'm going to go I'm gonna I just, go in. I just think that to make it in, easy, so I think my whole thing is to make it easier on herself coming in as a woman of basketball mm. where she has to work harder. And again, now I'm not saying she has to work harder because she's not qualified. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that. I'm saying as a woman, she's coming into the game, the men's game. Well, she's not coming in because she's been there. But I'm saying as a head coach, right. you want to demand that respect right away. And I feel like you, you, need to, you need to be really careful and squeaky clean to make sure that we don't have any hurdles. Because the Raptors, we ain't trying to play no games. We want, we we no want, someone, games, man. We want someone who's going to come in here, who's going to hold our players accountable, yeah. who's going to make them play defense. Correct. And when, we, when that coach speaks, they're going to listen nice. and take it in and come with results. We don't need someone in the back of their head. Man, this girl called me a boy. I ain't trying to listen to this girl. Man, listen, man. With all the turmoil that the Raptors were dealing with, they are moving like boys right now, man. You feel me? <laughs> we can't, with call, all these, the, with, we can't with, call these girl with, men with, boys, with, with, Nick, with Coach Nurse, ex-Coach Nurse, and, and you know Coach Watson going through their thing that went public. You know what I mean? It's right, right. public information. You know Scotty Barnes and, and Young... Fighting during halftime warm That was crazy. You feel me? Yeah, that was crazy. Freddie talking about his money well, mid-season. We ain't going to pay you know him, I mean? So. I'm just like, yo, man, we are moving like boys. So, man, I'm to take that as a reality check. Come back crazy next season. Hopefully, if Ham is the coach, so be it. You know what I mean? She is a basketball mind, and she's cut from that pop, that pop, that pop culture, that coach pop right, culture. Right, So, you know she ain't playing. You well, know what hope. I mean? Let's hope. Whatever the Raptors do, like, um... Again, let's hope that the players respond properly. I hope so. That's all I care about. That's it. That's all I care about too. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, um, moving along, Phil Jackson was oh, in the news. Uh, your 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 beloved Phil Jackson. You know, why Phil, man? Uh, I be defending you a lot. You know, B. You sure do. He was in the news talking about he stopped watching the NBA. Yeah. Um, after uh the bubble. Because, right. you know, it Not got political. political. Yeah. You know, people were wearing shirts of, you know, all the other stuff that they had. They had things on the floor. Um, and he said that it got too political, and so he stopped watching it. And mm-hmm. this raised the attention for a lot of people. Jalen Rose specifically. Shout out he wasn't, the OG, Triple OG, Jalen Rose. He wasn't Jaylen happy Rose. about it. You articulated yourself to the T. So what are, your, what are your thoughts about this whole Phil Jackson situation, man? I, I was disappointed. In the sense where, like, you know, some of the political moves that we, that the NBA took or stances that, that they took was Black Lives Matter. Right, right. You know what I mean? So when, when Phil Jackson is saying stuff like that, I'm like, ah, oh, dang, man, are you talking about the Black Lives Matter movement? Like, is that too mm. political for you? You're not right. feeling that? And uh, that, that kind of hurt just knowing all the injustices that are going on 
in the States. Yeah, or, yeah. Around the world. Though. Around the world, yeah. You know what I mean? In regards to black lives mattering. So that, that kind of hurt, man. And yeah, I'm just glad Jalen Rose brought that. He brought that to my attention on his, on his IG. So yeah, salute so to is you. So is this something where we're looking at Phil Jackson like he's racist? Like, is he racist? Or, or like... Remember, he, he hit LeBron with the posse comment. That you he know did, what I he mean? He did do that with the and posse you got Rich comment. Paul, Mav, you know, Mav, all those guys that are successful businessmen. Yes. How are you going to call them a posse? They're doing their thing. You know what I mean? In other words, you're calling them a gang? Like, right, you right. You know what I mean? So, Coach Jackson, man, like, you got to choose your words a little wisely, man. Just stay away from the media, man. Just, you know what I mean? Because you coming like you think, you, you don't think before you talk, talk. you know? So, uh, you don't got text winners to bail you out, so fam, <laughs> calm down with all that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. That that uh, I don't know, man. I, I, this is a tough one for me. Um, I was never a big Phil Jackson fan, anyways, mm. as you know. Um, we that always it always gets thrown in there as, you know, uh, what would Jordan do without Phil? What would Phil do without Jordan? And mm. and that doesn't t- get talked about enough. So I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Phil. Um, it's but just really you're, weird. You're more pro player, of course, because you, you, know I mean? you need the players. You need the players to win. You need the coach to to lead the players as well, man. It's a it's Listen, a fifty fifty relationship. If, if man. you if you coach the Toronto Raptors 2019 team, you would have won a championship, sir. I probably would. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, nah, no, no, don't, don't, not probably. You would have won. We cannot discredit that, fam. You would have won. You, <laughs> and I'm not saying that you're a horrible coach. I'm just mm. saying you need superstars to win in this game. You need some superstars. You need a good team. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have a good team, we see what's happening to Pop, one of the greatest coaches ever. He can't, he can't, he can't win 20 games. And he's team. the greatest coach because he ain't got no players. Right. Right. You're right. He, make some magic. But show me that you can win with that kind of caliber right. team. It ain't happening. So you need the players to win. And Phil Jackson felt it when his teams weren't good. Bye. He quit. Loran left. Yeah, that, that triangle wasn't working in, in triangle with the Knicks. The triangle, Mello, ain't, Mello the triangle ain't gonna happening. work when you have Della Badova on the wing, sir. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. You need the players for it to work. But, yeah, I mean, um, I, again, I still think it's 50-50, though. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stand on that. Again, man, I'm not, I'm not a huge Phil fan. I, it's just really weird. Why are we talking about Phil? Like, yeah. he retired years ago. Like, what does it matter what he thinks anyways? Like, who cares if you don't watch? The he's he's game? a pillar, man. He's a pillar in our cares. basketball community. If you don't want to watch? Don't watch. Like say say I'd rather him say I don't watch because the NBA saw. Right. It's just soft. The right. game is softer. Mm. Don't talk about Black Lives Matter. Thanks. You know what was going on through people's lives at that moment? It was a tough time. Straight up. Don't do that to us, man. So whatever, man. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that no more, man. <laughs> I'm moving on. Listen, Dylan Brooks. Let's Shout talk about DB. Dylan Brooks. DB. Come on, man. Put some respect on his name, well, fam. First off, what is Dylan Brooks? What is your favorite hairstyle from Dylan Brooks? No, real talk. Man. He got so many. Do I, do I got to go with the pause, 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 pause? You know what I mean? The, when he has like the Andre 3000. The long, you know, the right? Long That's joint, mine man. too. That's I like, like that. Yo, you he should have played with that. should have played with that, man. You know what I mean? Or even the two cornrows like, has like a, a Southside Jane type of... <laughs> The Southside Jane type of feel. That's definitely Southside you know I mean? Jane for sure. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, couldn't couldn't afford a braid up, so just got the two braids. <laughs> you know what I mean? For free. Go go play, bro. But yo, you know um, I mean? how do how do you feel like the the scrutiny that he's getting right yeah. now? Do you think it's warranted? Like, do you think no, he it's not warranted? His... And Memphis Grizzlies are moving like the Vancouver Grizzlies. You know what I mean? Like, you need to move. You need you don't need you don't deserve a, a an organization or a franchise no more. <laughs> The way, you, the way you're dealing with my boy, yo. That, that ain't right. That ain't right. Gave you guys six years. You know what I mean? A he solid, was a, he a was solid a, pillar. He was important to that in team. In that culture. He was important to that you know team. What I mean? He always defended. You guys defended. lost because you guys, had, you guys were dealing with mad injuries. A whole lot no, of off-court no, no. situations. But no, 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 no. for that particular series, mans were hurt. Listen, Adams guys. Adams didn't play. Clark didn't play. You guys were... Mm. You guys weren't I, I working with that he's much, He's getting man. more scrutiny than, than Ja is. And, and Ja, ja finished was, with 10 points that game. Ja was in the strip clubs going crazy. Facts. like Scapegoat. Like, uh, pulling out guns. And, and he was get, he's getting more scrutiny because he spoke to LeBron. So my question to you is, mm. if this was another player, if he spoke to Kevin Durant like this or Kawhi or somebody like this, would he still get that same scrutiny from the media? Hell no. I mean, they call, they, they, they say KD did the softest move. In the NBA, they say um, 
Kawhi is the 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 he should retire. He should retire. The worst superstar, the worst in, NBA superstar in in sports. You hear right. stuff like that with LeBron poking a grizzly bear. Because 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 I'm, I'm not bear. I'm not I'm not upset that Dylan Brooks wants to compete. He doesn't Can't want to compete. You're he not allowed to compete. He doesn't want to be your friend. I'm okay with that. He didn't say LeBron is trash. No. Nope. He just said LeBron is not Miami Heat. He's not the LeBron. Miami Heat. And, and those are facts. Put that in context. Everybody's talking about, oh, the man said he's old. Bruh. He is old. He's 38. In NBA years, he's old. Come on, fams. So Shout I don't, out LeBron. You're doing your thing. No, absolutely. You're in, you're in magnificent shape. You, you may get swept by the, by the Warriors. But no, anyway. He ain't going to get swept. Right? He ain't going to get swept. I'm just saying. But my whole thing is I wasn't upset that what he said. Um, I like the fact that he wants to compete. Um, I like the fact that he doesn't want to be other players' friends. He's all about Memphis Grizzlies and his Come teammates. On, man. So I wasn't upset about what he he said about LeBron. I'm I'm just looking at people when some of their comments is like like he can't speak to LeBron, like calling him. He can't talk to the boss like that. What, what? do you mean? Why not? Why can't he want to compete? He's supposed those, to sit those there guys and that accept are everything. Defending it, I feel like they would jump on LeBron's team, sit on the bench. To win a ring, this is cra- that's just that's the crazy part to me. Yeah, 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 and the crazy part to me is like the media is just so crazy to the point where they're 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 going after Dylan Brooks, like he's the most talked about NBA player right now. Yo, any and he, publicity is great publicity. Yeah, so, he's the so most talked about NBA it, player. It, so again, Memphis Grizzlies. It was in the news. I'll, I want to I want to I want to give you the exact quote what Sham said. It so it said Memphis Grizzlies have informed pending free agent Dylan Brooks that he will not be brought back under any circumstances. Wow. League sources say any circumstances. Like, fam, why would you what even did put he that, do? Why would you put that out there? That's why I say for that move, Memphis don't even deserve an, what a the, team, what, man. What did he do? Any, Send Memphis said, to Seattle, any circumstances. Bro. Why, why? Any circumstances? Why? Did Unprofessional, he, bro. Did he beat somebody up? Yeah, did like, he, like, did he, like, what did he do? He spoke... To did LeBron? He, was he, did he bring a gun in a public place? Absolutely not. I'm just saying, fam. You know, he was no, he the one man. caught in the strip club no. with his shirt off? He was actually defending his brother, actually. So I'm so, con- I mean? I'm so I'm so I'm confused on why Memphis, if you don't want to sign him, just don't sign him. You why would you make nothing. a why would you make a statement where Shams because we know if Shams reported it, mm-hmm. he's the real deal. For sure. Shout out Shams. So why would you put a statement out there like that? Are you trying to change the culture? If you're trying to change the culture, how about you tell your players, stay out of the strip clubs, mm-hmm. right? Get in the gym and actually get a jump shot that could, you know, mean something in the game. Like, well, get some veterans. Well, they had, they had Adams there. Man. Adams, is, Adams, he told them grown men, don't go to the club. Yeah. And they didn't listen because they're, they're gro- they are grown men, right. not boys. And they did not listen. So clearly something is going on there where they don't maybe they don't respect Adams as far as his veteran leadership. Right. Something's going on there. So they need more veteran leadership in there. They need a they need some they need they need some different they need a in different the management coaching. department as well. And and in the coaching staff. For sure. They need somebody like a Sam Cassell in there who's gonna grab one of the men and tell them, listen, one of them grown men, listen. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay out of them clubs. Get in the gym, work on your game. Thanks. So you know, Memphis Grizzlies, you get an F. You get an F for this one. Straight up, man. I don't, I don't, a I don't, PR I'm, nightmare, folks. I'm like, no, I don't dumb. agree with nothing that you did. Uh, it was disrespectful. Dylan Brooks did not deserve this. If you didn't want to sign him, you could have just kept it like that, like every other free agent that they do when they don't right. want to sign you. They don't come up with some type that of wasn't statement. Right. That and say, wasn't hey, right. Shams, report this to the world. Right. They don't do that. They don't do that. You don't want to sign him, you don't want to sign him. So, so you know. My, my, my question to you is where do you think Dylan's going to end up? Dylan, come to Toronto. We need some players that got some nuts. And, um, <laughs> oh my God. you know, you're from here. <laughs> right. So it just makes sense. We're not, I'm not with that soft stuff. Dylan could, um, you know, if we want to get rid of OG, I'm okay with that. No. Nah. But we need guys with nuts. And he has balls. He's pause. going to come. Pause. Big pause. Yeah. But he's going to come in every night and he's going to play hard. Um, 
we're gonna we're gonna get you the help that you need so we we can fix that thirty two percent from three point range. We that's that's okay. So thousand a day to make that jump shot right. <laughs> I know. So you right. know we're gonna get you we're gonna get that trainer. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of out there. That's Bobby a, Allen. You know, others yeah. who, who we got. Well, shout out Tyndale, man. Tyndale. You know what I mean, he, Coach Tyndale's he, that guy. He, he, he's that, been that, working that, him that was his trainer before, right? Yeah. Here we go. We gonna go. We gonna go somewhere else. No, you cut that out, but you... um, but um, listen. <laughs> shout out, shout out, you know, shout out to all trainers in Toronto. But we gonna get him right, you know, Mike George, you know, that's family. So we gonna yeah. we gonna make sure nah, things are he, right. He's straight, man. Jay so. just weren't dropping, yo, man. Don't... We <clears throat> we cannot discredit the man's work ethic. Shots weren't dropping in that series, so be it. You yeah. know what I mean? They're not looking for him 24-7. It's hard to get into a rhythm. No excuses. No, no excuses, but I got to jump in, bro. I got to jump in. The man could shoot. The man could play. It's not his fault that <laughs> the offense end up turning against him to a certain degree. Like, coaches start looking him off, trying <sighs> to turn him in just to a straight defender. The man could score. So well, that's he, on more of the coaching. Well he, well, he came out of college to score. He averaged like, I, like damn near twenty. I want to say in the pack. Ten, in the, the man pack can 12. hoop. So he was he he. Listen, but that's the, the NBA. Memphis like Grizzlies said. is going in a different direction. That's cool. Dylan won't be a part of it, and he'll go to another team, and he'll help them be successful. Right. So I, because I don't think that Memphis Grizzlies become what they are without Dylan, and that's just right. my personal opinion. He was part of that culture. Uh, he was a part of that culture. He brought that toughness to him. I seen him defend Kevin Durant and a lot of other players very, very well. So um if he don't make one of those all defensive teams this year, he won't. It's, it's gonna be sad, bro. He won't. That's gonna he, be he, that's he, gonna be He foul. won't, and I'm not saying he won't because he doesn't deserve it. He won't because of how he's portrayed by the media right now. He's hated. He's talked about so much. And, and people uh, and talk crazy. about, you know, people talk about him not talking to the media after the last couple of games. People don't know GM is the one that Told them not don't, to don't not go to do talk that. to the media, right? Yeah, you know I mean, so so like, come on, fans. It's all it's all good, man. Shout out to Dylan Brooks. Well, listen, you have a home here in Toronto. We'll, Always, we'll, we'll accept you here. Always, come, come play for us anytime. So, Always. That's all I gotta say about Shout that. Shout out but DB, man. Listen, this was this was the biggest thing for me. We're gonna talk about Giannis. Um, Giannis. Was the and the Milwaukee Bucks were the number one overall seed in the entire whole NBA, whole mm-hmm. playoffs, right? They lost to the A seed, and this wasn't. People were saying, "Well, Iggy, this is not a this is not your normal A seed." I said, "I know, abs- you're absolutely right. This was a playing team, so they were on the thread, hanging in to get in. Raptor, remember, we, we messed up. Man. Remember, if they, we would we would have beat Miami." Sorry, I don't, I don't know about that. But, we would have smashed but Miami. Mind you, <sighs> Miami Heat lost to Atlanta Hawks. Right. Their first playing game. Right. So they had to go and play to Chicago and right. beat Chicago to get in. And then they came in and they beat the Bucs. Giannis 4-1. was hurt. Don't make it sound like that, though. What? Provide a little more context. Okay. First Giannis game, was hurt. First game, oh, Giannis gets hurt. Right. They, they, they win. The next game, Giannis doesn't play. Mm-hmm. The Bucs beat the Heat. Right. Giannis then comes back and gets smoked, and they lose four one. So he didn't even he played and he played didn't injured. win. Yeah. Listen, injured. I don't consider a a bruised back injured. Why is your back though, fam? Listen, he, it it wasn't like a slip disc or anything like that. It mm-hmm. was a he had a bruise. But you see how they're putting a thorogun on on his yeah. ass, right? Pause. Mm-hmm. That's what they were using for him. Put some icy hot, like Shaq would say. And man up, he played. He played okay, I guess. Well, he he played, was dropping he, thirty. He was still but dominant, he missed but... thirteen free throws. Right in the final game. So and he didn't even want to shoot some and, of those. At, at one point, he was playing hot potato when he had the ball. Yeah. When he got the ball, he was just throwing it away. Yeah. He was so scared. Mm. And remember, mind you, this is the best player in the world. That's that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. He's the best player in the world, and he's just throwing the ball away and playing hot potato. No confidence to go to that line to make the free throws. Right. So. He was on, he got asked a question, and they asked him, they said, is this a failure? Is this season a failure? Mm-hmm. Giannis tried to break it down, and he said, if you, because did you get a raise this year? And I guess the guy said no. So he goes, so is this a year a failure for you at your job? And the guy said no. Mm-hmm. So he kept trying to break this down, and he goes, 
he goes, losing is not a failure. You, there's, no, there's no failures in sports. What are your thoughts on that? I see what he was trying to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see what he was trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, there's, there's only one winner. Absolutely. Right? Out of the 30 teams, 29 other teams are not going to win. No. So, therefore, they failed. Right? Technically. So, would you call... Would you say the Raptors had a failing season this year? I would say yes, because our expectations were super I didn't, high. I would say no, because I didn't have the expectations for them. Like, okay. I, didn't have ex- I didn't have expectations for San Antonio Spurs. Mm-hmm. So their team, that season wasn't a failure to me. But when you're the number one overall seed, and they say the best player, right. I expect for you to beat the number eight seed. Right. No, I get it. And but now, Giannis even said, one of his quotes, other than this quote you were talking about here, he did say his team was playing for a championship and not playing to win this series. That makes sense. Kind of understood that quote as well. I don't understand that quote. You got to bring that quote He's basically saying his team overlooked, did not take Miami serious. That's their fault for underestimating the competition and definitely underestimating a Miami Heat team. Mm-hmm. But that's what, that's what happened. You're kind of seeing that with Boston right now. Like, I think Boston is so gung-ho on playing Golden State or whoever's coming out of the West that they're overseeing their competition in the East. Mm. You know what I mean? But no excuses. I understand what you're, trying, what you're saying My, in this, regards to So when I say this, right, what, what I'm saying with this, right, is that you, if this, was, if this happened to LeBron James... The, me- the, the memes were, were, were they would have been ra- waiting. Yeah. I probably would have had a couple of memes. Oh, for if sure. this happened to Kevin Durant, the memes, were, listen, they couldn't, they wouldn't be able to wait. Right. As soon as the, the clock said zero, 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 the memes would have been coming and flooded if he lost to Memphis. But the memes so did we, come out. So we, no, but no, more on no, the motivation no, side. no. I more see, on the, more I, on the yeah, motivational, I see people posting inspirational old side. Kobe flicks from, from you know, <laughs> 10 years ago. I'm talking about failure, trying to put genius. it in. We got to keep the same energy. That was a genius move, man. That was a we genius We got to keep PR the move, same. Man. We got to keep the same energy. You lost in the first round, and I never seen LeBron James do it as a number one seed. I never seen Kevin Durant do it as number one seed. I never seen Steph Curry do it as a number one seed and lose mm. to an eight play in seed. Mm-hmm. We have to keep that same energy because we're saying that he is the greatest player in the world right now. Where is that energy? Well, he's one of the greatest. The Where's energy, the energy? The energy's there. You're not seeing it? It's, I don't see it. I don't see it. It's positive energy. No, I it's don't. Positive listen. positive energy we, all over You can't be the number media. one seed. You can't be the number one overall seed and lose to an A seed. You can't do it. He, was, he wasn't 100%. Though. Like, Bro, I, I, that's listen, why they lost. No, that's not that's why they why lost. That's why they lost, man. Uh, so they could, could they have lost? It could have taken it to game seven at least? 4-1? A. A. A gentleman so, sweep? 4-1? So so the Drew Holidays of the world, the what's the, what's the dude that Milton? Milton. What about him? Where were those guys? Where was Giannis? I'm just saying. Hot potato in the I ball. remember at one point the media used to say Milton is the Batman, Giannis is the Robin, because Milton's the one that closes out games. Right. Where was he? No he, to be found. Giannis threw him the ball and threw it out of bounds. He was so scared. He was scared to death. He threw the ball out of bounds. <laughs> he was scared to death. He threw the ball out of bounds. I'm just He's saying. Like, I don't want this thing. He. He chucked it out of bounds. He was so scared. He knew. He knew. Like, he didn't want to go to the line, man. So how are you going to be the best player in the world? When, we, when have we ever seen that type of failure like that? And you're so scared. When have we ever seen that from a superstar? I don't think we've seen it from LeBron. LeBron Kobe, don't like to shoot the free throws, though. But at least you'd go and clank them if he was going, if he was going to do anything. you go going to miss them. He ain't running. Him, he ain't running. He ain't running. I hear you. I hear you. Like, Giannis ran. Let's take that in. Like, he ran. He didn't want it. Like, he literally ran. I, we got the footage. We got to keep... All, all I'm saying is... Keep let, it a buck. Guys, let's not, let's not try to make this thing, like, deeper than what it is. Man, your job, and if you fail... No, 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 no. We ain't doing all that. <laughs> you lost to an A-seed, sir. Accept it, and stop trying to make excuses. So did he move down in the pecking order now? He was never number one for me anyway, so I ain't have him up there. But he did BKD. Hey. You see? And, and guess what? The memes came out for KD. Crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> we need to see those memes come in. So, 
listen, man, we're not going to do that. You're going to accept what you, what you are. You're a superstar. You lost to an A seed. I don't think it's ever been done. I want to say the last time we've seen this happen for real with an eight seed beat a number one seed was maybe in the 90s. I think it was Denver, Denver, it was Seattle. Denver when Denver matumbled them, beat Seattle yeah. Supersonics. Yeah, I remember that. With, 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 with Sean Kemp and Sean Dayton. Kemp and them boys. Yeah. And you have to look at the Warriors. Warriors in Utah. And no, the Warriors, when they beat, when they beat, they beat uh, Utah, uh, Mavericks. The Dallas. Mavericks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Mavericks were number one seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they beat those. That was those, stacking them. Shout yes, that was, that, that was stacking. Yeah, <laughs> that was stacking. Them. Got them eight charges, baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> How do you take eight charges in a pickup game, but you ain't take no during a real game? A real NBA game, but you're going to take them in a pickup game? And you have the nerves to call Pascal a bum? Oh, man. man, I'm out, man. Yeah. Pascal made two all-NBA teams, a third team, two of them, two all-star games. How much do you think Stack made? Shout out Stack, man. Goose egg, man. Zero. And I'm going to end it on that. Yo, this was a good. This was a good one, man. Yeah. This was this was yeah. a real good one. Yeah. Hey, continue to support. Yes, sir. You know what I mean. Follow us on all social media platforms, man. Instagram, YouTube, like, comment, share. Yes, sir. Spotify. What up? Oh, check out our website, man. And most importantly, man, shout out Title League. We let's get it. Emoji fingers. Salute. We out. <laughs>